You might have noticed that Google has been having some rough patches in the AI arena lately. There was that notable instance when their BARD chatbot gave incorrect information about the James Webb Space Telescope during its debut demo. That slip-up ended up costing Google's parent company, Alphabet, a casual $100 billion in market value, a pretty painful blow. And the issues didn't stop there. Their Gemini image generation tool faced significant backlash for historical inaccuracies and bias concerns, prompting Google to pull the plug on it rapidly. With all these hiccups, it seemed like Google, once a towering figure in AI, was struggling to keep pace with rivals like OpenAI and Microsoft. These competitors have been making waves, particularly with GPT-4 and Microsoft's extensive AI integrations. It almost seemed like Google was a giant stumbling to keep up in a race they once led. But here's the twist. Google has made a remarkable comeback, and it's generating quite a buzz in the AI world. They've been steadily enhancing their AI capabilities and recently unveiled some impressive upgrades. Earlier this year, they introduced Gemini 1.5 Pro, which made quite an impact. Now, they've launched an experimental version, Gemini 1.5 Pro 0801, available for early testing and feedback through Google AI Studio and the Gemini API. In recent evaluations, the LMSY chatbot arena, which assesses AI models on various tasks and assigns an overall competency score, showed an experimental version of Google's Gemini model scoring an impressive 1,300. This score surpasses even the results of its well-known competitors. For context, GPT-4 scored 1,286 and Clay-3 followed closely at 1,271. While this indicates that Gemini might be more capable overall, it's essential to remember that benchmarks only provide a partial picture of an AI model's strengths and weaknesses. The AI community is abuzz with excitement about this latest Gemini version, with social media flooded with praise, and some users even claiming it surpasses GPT-4. This release marks a pivotal moment, providing users with a range of powerful AI chatbot options. Ultimately, the best model will depend on individual needs and preferences. Although this experimental version of Gemini is currently available to the public, its early release status means it could be modified or even withdrawn in the future for safety or alignment reasons. In addition to Gemini 1.5 Pro, Google has also introduced another model, Gemma 22B. Despite having just 2 billion parameters, which might seem modest compared to some larger models, this model punches well above its weight class. It's outperformed models that are considerably bigger, such as OpenAI's GPT 3.5 and Meta's Llama 2. Google is demonstrating that in the AI world, bigger isn't always better. Optimization and fine-tuning are key. However, not everything Google touches turns to gold. Case in point, the Dear Sydney ad fiasco. During the Olympics on NBC, Google aired an ad where a father uses the Gemini AI to help his daughter write a fan letter to her Olympic hero, Sydney McLaughlin. On the surface, it seemed innocent enough. But the idea of using AI to craft something as personal as a fan letter struck many as out of touch. Critics panned the ad for being tone deaf, arguing that a fan letter should come from the heart, not from a machine. The backlash was swift and intense, leading Google to pull the ad from its Olympic rotation. They defended the ad by saying they aimed to show how AI can enhance creativity rather than replace it, but the damage had been done. It highlighted the fine line tech companies must tread when integrating AI into everyday life. Not every application of AI fits seamlessly into every context. On the other side of the AI spectrum, OpenAI is grappling with its own set of challenges. Despite attracting over $11.3 billion in investments from major players like Microsoft and Sequoia since 2015, OpenAI is facing severe financial strain. Recent reports suggest they are on track to spend a staggering $8.5 billion this year alone, raising concerns about their long-term sustainability and fueling speculation about potential bankruptcy. So, what's driving these massive costs? Running cutting-edge AI models like ChatGPT is expensive. OpenAI is projected to spend around $7 billion just to keep these models operational. 
This includes approximately $4 billion for renting server capacity from Microsoft and an additional $3 billion for training their AI models, which also involves licensing agreements with news organizations like News Corp to access their extensive content libraries. Additionally, their 1,500 employees' salaries are estimated to reach $1.5 billion this year. Despite generating revenue between $3.5 billion and $4.5 billion from ChatGPT and other paid AI services, it's not enough to offset their enormous expenditures, putting them on track for a potential loss of at least $1 billion for the year. To put this into perspective, Google-backed Anthropic, another competitor, expects to burn through $2.7 billion this year. This has ignited concerns about OpenAI's future particularly with the rise of free and open-source AI models like Meta's Llama 3.1. This model allows developers free access to its code, potentially undercutting OpenAI's paid offerings, especially as some businesses are wary of AI's cost and accuracy. OpenAI's financial stability has been questioned before. Last year, reports of ChatGPT's high operating costs, nearly $700,000 per day, sparked similar concerns. However, OpenAI's strong backing from Microsoft, with a $13 billion investment, provides some reassurance. Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella has emphasized that this investment secures significant rights to OpenAI's technology, ensuring continuity even if OpenAI encounters difficulties. Despite these financial hurdles, OpenAI remains committed to advancing AI. They continue to develop new products, such as the AI-powered video generator Sora and the AI search engine Search GPT, which has even caused a dip in Google's stock price. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman remains steadfast in his ambition to achieve artificial general intelligence, AGI, envisioning highly autonomous systems that could surpass human capabilities in many economically valuable tasks. In essence, OpenAI is engaged in a high-stakes gamble, pouring immense resources into developing groundbreaking AI technology, even if it means operating at a significant loss. Whether this bet will pay off with the advent of AGI or lead to financial difficulties remains to be seen. One thing is certain. The world is closely watching OpenAI's every move with bated breath. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more updates. We'll catch you in the next one.